Chill. Kick a dog, David. You on camera, David. Your ex girlfriend say you know you going to jail, David. You kick the dog, David. She don't want you back, David. When everybody in the world say you would a training. Kick a dog, David. Kick a dog, David. All the boys, all the trainees on the floor, David. Kick a dog, David. Kick a dog, David. We already know you're buying such a thug, David. Yeah. David, that girl Coochie must be better than them boys' booty. Yeah, you keep going back over there, going to jail. That girl Coochie better than them boys' booty. I'm telling you, pause. I'm telling you because you gonna keep going. You don't never go to jail for them boys. You always go to jail for her. She don't want you back, David. It's over. Just because you son that little 1200, you probably son 2000, you feel like you entitled to get some cuddy. She tired of that doo-doo in her vagina. She keep getting affection. She tired of that doo-doo in her vagina. You ain't getting no cuddy. You ain't coming in there. You send the money. Yeah, you owe her that. You really owe her 100K for all the embarrassments, all the pain and suffering. She really been easy on you by kicking you out and just calling the police on you. She could sue you. Yeah, she could sue you, but she taking that light on you. Because, you know, you're an ex and all that there. She still do got a little feelings for you. But she don't want you. It's too much drama. It's too much. She just ready to start a new life, a new chapter, and you keep coming back. Because you know where she live at. Even if she do move, you're going to stalk her. You're going to follow her everywhere she go. People going to tell you where she live at. Besides you going on the internet, finding her address, paying a little $2, $5, $10. Because her hot stuff, her warm, wet, hot stuff is better than that dry peanut butter you be sticking your mushroom tip in. Shout out to Nino Brown. You be sticking your mushroom tip in that peanut butter. And her hot stuff, that hot honey, yeah, that hot wet water is better than that. You realize that. And now you want to go back home because you realize the boys can't cook. Yeah, them boys, they can't cook. They don't be cooking. They be going out to eat. Five stars and all that other stuff. Restaurants and outback and all that stuff. They go out to eat. Yeah, a girl can cook. You want that bad? You want them home-cooked meals. But it's too late. It's too late, Buck. I told you you're supposed to bend fell back and start ghostwriting for rappers. You say you used to write for everybody, so yeah, ghostwrite. But you want to be in the front line. You still want to be that rap superstar. It's over. It's over, David. Don't you realize? You think a DJ Paul beat can save you, can bring you back? A drama boy beat, you think that can bring you back? Come on, man. You're supposed to be ghostwriting. Making them hit records. You'd have been out the hole, out the jam. You'd have been up. But you know what your problem is? You got too much pride. You got too much pride for everything. To ghost write, to stop rapping, to come out the closet. Everything. You keep everything in the closet. Because you're so tough on the outside, and that's going to be your downfall. Even though, when we shake your hand, peanut butter and jelly come out. Yeah. Every time you walk, you leave trails of peanut butter and jelly. It's peanut butter and jelly everywhere. The rabbit out the hat, David, alleged. Everything I'm saying in this video, alleged. And my take on this conversation, man. Go!